Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Joshua McDonald and today we're going to be checking out the 2024 Cadillac CT5V Blackwing. Guys, now before we get started with the video, I know a lot of you are in the market for a new, used, or maybe even a Blackwing. If you guys want the best price on any vehicle, click the link in my description to get a free quote sent to you today. But without further ado, let's check out this super sedan from Cadillac. All right, so here she is, the 2024 Cadillac CT5V Blackwing. Underneath the hood, we have a 6.2 liter V8 that produces 668 horsepower and 659 pound-feet of torque. These are hand-built at the Performance Build Center, and this one was crafted by Ben Walden. So shout out to Ben Walden for building this beast. Absolutely beautiful, powerful motor that can definitely make this thing fly. Now this one has the carbon fiber one and two package. So you're gonna see a lot of carbon fiber on this one. Carbon fiber right above the Cadillac crest and we have a carbon fiber front lip as well. This is very beautiful hand woven carbon fiber. You can see it lines up perfectly right here in the middle. So they definitely don't cut any corners with that. Super aggressive looking front end. It does have a wide arch around the wheels because we have big tires on this vehicle to put all that power down. So taking a look at these tires, these are Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. Absolutely excellent tire. Up front, we have 275, 35, 19s up here. And you can see how massive the brakes are up front as well. Now this one has monster truck fitment because those blocks right there are still on the vehicle so we don't scrape any over any speed bumps. Now, of course, we'll take those off before we deliver it to the customer. So it'll sit a little bit lower up front. Now on the side, we're gonna have our V Blackwing badge, so everybody knows what you have, and even more carbon fiber down the side of this vehicle. Here's a full look at the side profile. So absolutely gorgeous, four-door sedan with that beautiful duckbill spoiler. Now, let's take a look at these back wheels. Same thing, Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. The size on these is 305, 30, 19. So super meaty tire in the back. You can see right there, tons of grip for the road. Now your fuel fill up is gonna be on the passenger side. This takes 91 octane or above, capless gas fill system. Also, we have a unique door handle design. This has lights that will project at night so you can see the door handle and you have locking and unlocking with the key in your pocket. Now, if you wanna open up the door, there's a little button on the inside that you press and that will open up the door for you. Let's move around to the back of this vehicle and guess what guys we have even more carbon fiber so carbon fiber duckbill spoiler beautiful touches on this vehicle cadillac crest with the ct5 v blackwing logo see we have our backup camera right there and we have the button to open up the trunk so here's the trunk space tons of room inside of there if you need to grab some groceries inside your blackwing now underneath, we're going to have nothing but this little kit right here, which I believe is a tire and flicker kit, if I'm not mistaken, <clears throat> or a battery charger, one of those. There's also some deflector kits for the track. So before you go to the track, you definitely wanna put these on and some little odds and ends inside of there. Let's go ahead and close this up. And even more carbon fiber down below. Now we have quad exhaust tips for this 6.2 liter supercharged V8. On the key, we're going to have remote start as well. So we can remote start this vehicle by holding down this button twice. So right now it's in sport mode, so that opens up the valves completely, but you can go into tour mode if you want the vehicle to be a little bit quieter. Now, moving to the back seats, let's take a look and see how much room we have back here. So beautiful accents inside the doors, leather everywhere with this white stitching, carbon fiber down the side, aluminum door handles, and AKG audio inside this vehicle. Back seats are gonna be completely wrapped in leather. They also do fold down as well. So if you need extra storage space all the way through, you can do that on both sides. Let's take a step inside and see how much room we have. Tons of room inside of here. I'm six foot tall on a good day. Tons of leg room, not very good headroom. My head is actually touching the roof right now, 
which is not good. But you'll notice we have two sunroofs inside this vehicle. So I can get some sun back here. AC vents, cigarette lighter port with a USB-C. There's storage behind the driver and passenger seat. So pretty nice amenities back here, but if you're taller than six foot, your head is gonna be touching the roof. Now, for what we've all been waiting for, let's hop up front and see where the magic happens. I'll also be going over the price of this vehicle, so make sure you stay tuned until the end for that. Same accents up front, carbon fiber, AKG audio, we have memory seats, all of our window and mirror controls in one place. We can push this button to open up the trunk and storage up top and down below. Full power, adjustable driver's seat and passenger seat as well. Beautiful black leather with white piping and white stitching. Now let's hop inside and start this bad boy up. Go ahead and close the door and we are greeted by these beautiful V logo across both of our digital displays. Let's go ahead and put our foot on the brake, hit the start button, and she comes to life. So first thing we notice on the steering wheel, we have this strip right here. This is Super Cruise. So when you're cruising on a compatible highway, this vehicle is fully self-driving. All you have to do is set the cruise control, hit your Super Cruise button, and the vehicle will move forward at your designated speed. It'll also change lanes for you, move around vehicles, and keep your gap adjustment. So this is your forward collision gap adjust. You have a three car, two car, and one car length. Heated steering wheel with magnesium paddles behind it as well. So we can downshift or upshift this 10 speed automatic transmission. Carbon fiber on the steering wheel. And we also do have our Cadillac V logo, 81, 838. I don't know if this is number 81 out of 838, but it has that as well. Now we have a digital display up here that will display how much fuel we have and as you go through the different drive modes, it'll also change it as well. So we have the track layout, sport, tour, and there's also my mode as well. So lots of different modes inside this vehicle. You also do have a V mode. So if you press that button, it'll go into a fully adjustable mode where you can adjust your steering feel so you can make it harder or softer. You can make your suspension harder or softer and you can adjust your engine and shift, aggressiveness, brake feel, engine sound, and your PTM. PTM is performance throttle management. So you can have that in wet mode. You can have that in dry, sport, race one, and race two. Now, when you guys are using PTM, you wanna make sure that if you're not on a track, you're not using race one or race two. You wanna be in dry or wet mode. So what PTM does is it controls the traction control for you based on how you're using the car. So you can stay flat out in a corner all the way down the accelerator and it'll rocket you out of that thing and adjust the throttle as it needs to. So if you want more assist, you can go all the way down or you can go all the way up to race two where you're pretty much on your own with this thing. To get out of V mode, you just push the button again and it'll go back to your designated drive mode where your selector is right here. You can go up and down through all these different modes. So we'll go ahead and leave it in sport. Electronic parking brake. We have a heads up display in this vehicle that we can move up and down, change the information and turn up or down the brightness on. Now I'll go ahead and demonstrate that heads up display right here. So if we zoom in, you can see there's our heads up display and there's a few little information tabs that we can scroll through. My favorite is this one because you can see your RPMs, but it is fully customizable as well. We also have an SD card holder right here for our PDR, which is our performance data recorder. So you can insert that SD card and it will record everything you're doing inside the vehicle, give you a nice layout. It'll show your G-forces, miles per hour, all that stuff that you need for the track. So when you watch it back, you can see how good of a driver you are. Also on our infotainment system, we're going to have our audio tab, which is AM, FM, Sirius XM radio, as well as Bluetooth. Now. If we go back to the start, we also have built-in navigation. Pretty standard navigation system, very easy to use. It's not Google built-in, but it does the job. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, built-in Wi-Fi hotspot. We have our cameras as well, so we have our backup camera. And you can also see in front of you, behind you, you can see your back wheels, front wheels, and you do have a surround view as well. Now your camera will automatically pop up if you go into reverse. So to do that, there's a little button on the side. You just push all the way up and you're in reverse. You can also go into neutral by going up a little bit, drive, or you can go into manual mode. 
If you want to go and park, you just push this button right here. Home button for the screen, two AC vents in the middle, one for the driver and one for the passenger. You'll notice by the passenger seat, we have even more carbon fiber, premium leather on the dash, and a glove box with plenty of storage space. So right here, we're gonna have two cup holders, wireless phone charging pad, storage, trash control, auto hold, and our shifter. Now this is where you adjust your volume so you can turn your volume up and down. You can seek through your music or jump to your music, navigation, go back or to your phone tab. This little dial right here will let you select your different apps and click on them, whatever you need to do while you're driving. Even more carbon fiber right here in the middle. And we have the center console with a phone holder, USB-C, USB, another SD card for the navigation and a cigarette lighter port. There's also a rear view camera mirror on this vehicle that you can cut on or off. You can also adjust your brightness, zoom it in or out, and move it down or up. Here's a makeup mirror for the driver and passenger side. And let's go ahead and demonstrate both of our sunroofs. So there's a front sunroof and a back sunroof as well. This one opens up, but that one does not. If you want to open that up, you can just slide it just like that, and it'll open all the way up for you. Now, same thing to close it. You just hit the opposite side, and you can tilt it up a little bit if you want to by using this tilt button. Three different garage door openers, OnStar buttons, and map lights as well. Another safety feature we have is the blind spot monitoring inside the mirrors. That little car right there will light up orange if there's something in your blind spot. But that's pretty much it for the inside of the 2024 Cadillac CT5V Blackwing. Let's take one last look at the outside and we'll go over the price of this vehicle, which you're probably gonna be surprised by. If you guys are enjoying the video so far, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe down below for more car content. But this is one of my favorite vehicles of all time. 668 horsepower in a four-door sedan. Can't get much more fun than that. So here's the window sticker, 2024 CT5V Series Blackwing. Summit white with a jet black interior, 6.2 liter supercharged V8 with a 10-speed automatic transmission. Base price of the Blackwing is gonna be $93,495. This one has a ton of packages on it. So carbon fiber two, carbon fiber one, super cruise, which is self-driving, 10-speed automatic transmission, gas guzzler tax to Uncle Sam, performance every quarter, ultra view sunroof, parking package, I'm almost out of breath reading all these packages, but you can see them. So with destination charge, this one is $119,350. Here's all the safety ratings on this vehicle. And with that 6.2 liter V8, you're gonna get 13 city, 21 highway with 16 miles per gallon combined. Here's the whole window sticker on this vehicle. If you guys wanna pause the video and check it out. But that's gonna be it for today's video. Again, my name is Joshua McDonald. I hope you enjoyed this video and taking a look at this super awesome car with me. If you did, leave a like, subscribe down below for more car content, and I'll see you guys next time.